What's up guys? Welcome back to another edition of K-Cards Baseball. Thanks for joining me tonight on this wonderful evening, wherever you may be. Tonight, I'm kind of excited about this video. We are going to do a little fat pack battle between Stadium Club and Topps Update and see which fat packs are the best. I would guess probably Update, but the advantage that the Stadium Club has is you do get these pink foil parallels in every pack. So we are going to get three pink foil parallels. We're going to have a total of nine. So that could be a decider. I don't think we're going to get any numbered cards at all in Stadium Club because as you've seen on some of the videos I made lately, the retail product on the Stadium Club side is pretty weak for numbered cards. I don't expect any of that. So what they primarily did is take the number cards or the number parallels out of the retail product and put in these pink foils and the red foils instead and gave you better hits as far as that goes. But the chances of getting any good number parallels out of this product is pretty low. We might very well get a few number parallels out of the three update packs. I would expect that to happen. So that might be the equalizer to the three pink parallels or the nine pink parallels we're going to get in Stadium Club. So I thought this would be kind of a fun battle to do on the channel to see which fat packs are best. It is actually fairly hard to find the Stadium Club fat packs at all anywhere. I'm only able to find them at Walmart. I wasn't able to find any at any of the Target stores at all. So Stadium Club is definitely a really hot product right now and it probably will cool down later on this week once chrome update comes out on wednesday but the chrome update aren't going to have any sort of fat packs at all alrighty guys let's see what we got here one thing i have found out is that when we open these fat packs of stadium club they are going to be very much team oriented so usually the first three cards you get are going to be of the same team Jabs, I did watch him open some blaster boxes last night, and it wasn't until after he opened up like 10 blasters did he realize that the red cards in the blaster boxes were mostly of the same team. So anyways, Spencer Torkelson leads us off for the Tigers, so the first three are going to be Tigers. Javier Baez, oh, I guess not. Mike Trout is number three, so I was slightly wrong on that. But we'll see what other Tigers we get in this pack. Strangely enough, these cards are sticking together. Not sure why. Christy Mathewson, Mel Ott, and David Wright. Davis Snyder. I don't know why these cards are sticking together. Driving me crazy. Uh, Lane Thomas, and then Kristen Yelich on the Virtuosos card. That's kind of a cool card. Not a rare insert, but it's still a decent insert. Seiya Suzuki on the red foil. I do like these red foils an awful lot. Then our pinks are of Tyler Black, Joey Lofferford, and Paul Skeens on the pink. Woohoo! How about that? That is a huge pink card right there of Mr. Skeens. That one will probably go off to the grading shop. There's our Paul Skeens pink card. That is really a nice card there for sure. Pretty cool card. I think that that was about it. We got two other ones. We got Ty Cobb and then we got a security thing. Alrighty, that one's going to be hard to beat, guys. That was a really good pull right there. Nolan Jones leads us off. And then we got another Ty Cobb. We got doubles. Back to back. Is this one a black? This one's a black, though. This one's a black foil. This one's not. So you can see the difference there in the black foil to the not black foil. The black foils, I think, come in one in every three fat packs. Cecil Fielder, Carlos Correa, and Andre Dawson. I heard the Twins might possibly consider trading Carlos Correa. That'll really help us out quite a bit. Roberto Clemente and Josh Gibson. Uh, Gavin Williams, 
Trey Turner. That is a nice black chrome. I think it's a black chrome refractor. That is really a nice refractor, but I think it is a black chrome, black foil chrome refractor. So that's nice, a nice card for sure. Ryan Sandberg on the red. And then our pinks, Austin Martin. Kyle Manzardo, that's a nice rookie pink card. And Christian Scott on the rookie for the diamond or for the uh, Mets. Here's our black foil. Chrome black foil of Anthony Russo. Nice card there. Spencer Strider, Austin Riley, Aaron Judge, nice Aaron Judge card. There's our Anthony Rizzo on the paper compared to the Chrome. That's a nice card there on that Chrome. Garrett Cole, there's our Yankee pack. This seems like it's a Yankee pack, Hugh Darvish. Um, Buster Posey, Freddie Freeman on the uh, Chief Fantasy Professionals card. That's a nice card there. Again, not a rare insert. Red foil of Kodai Senga. I do like these red foils an awful lot. They're pretty cool. And then our three pinks, T. Oscar Hernandez. That's a nice card for sure. Roy Campanella and Pee Wee Reese. And there's a regular Pee Wee Reese. So we got two Pee Wee Reese cards. So guys, again, my opinion on these fat packs for Stadium Club. I would be buying them if you find them out there at any of the stores. Just the red foils and the pinks. And you do get a chrome card as well in every pack. It is definitely a good deal. So this is the hits that we got out of those three fat packs. Our Pee Wee Reese, Roy Campanella on the pink, T. Oscar Hernandez, Kodai Senga on the red, Christian Scott, Kyle Manzardo, a nice rookie card there, Austin Martin, Ryan Sandberg, Joey Lafer, <laughs> I'm not even going to pronounce it, Tyler Black, and, and Seiya Suzuki. Nice cards there. And then our chromes, but the big hit, obviously, is the Paul Skeens pink. Really nice Paul Skeens card for sure. That is going to be hard for the update fat packs to beat, but I got a feeling it probably will because we will probably get one or two number cards out of those fat packs. And who knows, we might even get another golden mirror. Alrighty then, let's see what we got in these fat packs. Jared Jones, Max Schoenemann. I do have my list of cards that I need, but I'm not going to go through that right now. Cade Smith. Get my rookie card situated. As we know, when we're going through these, these cards are going to slide around quite a bit. John Berkey. Zach Kaloff on the rookie debut. Blaze Alexander, rookie card. Quite a few rookies in this first one. Mitch Garver, Jordan Leisher. I think that's how you pronounce his name. I don't know. Yoshinobu Yamamoto on the rookie debut. That's a nice rookie debut for sure. It'd be nice to get a Skeens. I've only gotten one Skeens so far. Wyatt Langford on the rookie card. Nice rookie card there for sure. I'll sleeve all these up later. And then we get down to our hits. See what we got. Brian Ramos, rookie card. And we got a number to 25. <laughs> Luis Gill. How about that? A camo. We got a camo numbered to 25. Wow. That is crazy good. A camo numbered to 25. I pulled a pink Mother's Day the other day, and now we get a camo numbered to 25, number 22 out of 25 on Chris Bubik. I think that's how you pronounce his name. Obviously, it would be better if it was one of the top rookies, but that is still, that's the first camo I think I've actually pulled. That's pretty dang cool. 
that is really cool. I'd be more excited if it was one of the top rookies, but hey, we'll take a camo anytime we can get it. I'm not going to complain at all. Cool card there. That's the first camo, like I said, I've ever pulled. So I really like that. So all these fat packs so far, when we've been opening them, we got a golden mirror. We got a, no, the pink was out of a blaster, I think. And then we got a camo numbered to 25. Griffin Jacks. Wow, I'm kind of floored by that. Really cool. Colt Keith, rookie card. Wow. Unbelievable. Jordan Beck. Justin Slayton. Justin Fosco. Jorge Barosa. Jordan Beck. This was the clear that... I think this was the clear that uh, Lucky Peter pulled. It was the Jordan Beck, Beck, but it was clear. Jordan Westbury on the rookie debut. And we got another number card. Tyler Rogers on the red, numbered to 199. 176 out of 199. And then we got a all class of Sandy Colfax. And then our two stars of Major League Baseballs are um, Matt Chapman and Gavin Williams. So another nice card there. Two number cards, including a camo, out of these fat packs. I'm telling you, these update fat packs are just, they're way better than the blasters. Let's put it that way. Way, way, way better than the blasters. I would be buying fat pack. I'm not even touching the blasters anymore, to be honest with you. I mean, just this terrible what Tops is doing to... Kill the Blasters, and we got another number card in this fat pack. I did see some purple down there on the bottom. Manuel Margot. Blaze Alexander. God, I hate that these cards are just sliding all over the place. Hard to keep them straight. We'll worry about that later, though. This video is getting a little bit long. Ben Brown. Austin Wells. On the rookie debut, Blanco unhittable. Brian Ross, this is the same fat pack we had in the last one. Lewis Gill, this is the same run that we just went through. TJ Hopkins, so none of our top rookies are going to be in any of these fat packs, but hey, we got three number cards, and number three number card is coming up here in a second. Here she comes. It is a purple, purple shimmer. Number to 799, number 582 out of 799 on the Matt Sauer. That's a nice rookie card right there. We got another tops, or we got another uh, uh, Stars of Major League Baseball chrome card of Wyatt Langford. I think that's my second chrome of Wyatt Langford. That's the top chrome right there. And then Corbin Burns, Jackson Churio on the solid gold, or on the solid black. That's a really nice card as well. This has been a really good pack. Known Shawnee well, I know is one of the Stars of MLB cards that I need to complete my Stars of Major League Baseball set. I think I still just need one. So Jackson Churio on the solid gold black. Or solid black gold anyways. I'm pronouncing that all wrong. So wow guys, that was an incredible run on the fat packs and they clearly beat out the stadium club it was nice to get that pink paul skeins for sure but these getting three number cards out of three fat packs including a solid gold or solid black gold of jackson churio are the really good cards so we get the solid black gold jackson churio matt sauer on the purple number to 7.99 and then we got the tyler rogers red numbered to 199 176 out of 199 on the red uh, crack dice or crackle card and then the big hit was the camo of Chris Bubik I think that's how you pronounce his name 22 out of 25 yes it is a pitcher but not a bad card anytime you can get a camo it is always a good thing it's not a Skeens camo or Jackson Holiday or Jackson Churio or any of those guys but hey it's a camo nonetheless Anyways, guys, that's what we got tonight. The update fat packs 
Again, if you guys find those out there, buy, 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 because you are getting your value for sure. I mean, I spent $22 on these three fat packs, and I easily have $22 in cards there. That's all I got for you guys tonight. Thanks for checking out this video. Stay tuned for more content on the channel. If you're not a current subscriber to the channel, please hit that like and subscribe. Helps me out quite a bit, and we'll talk to you later.